So Mufasa is going to go ahead and, and, and move forward. And you are crazy, Johnny! Pedro Pascal, everything that he does, he is subjected to seeing the thirst tweets and calling himself a zaddy. Jonathan Cakes, this is a hot man. I'm Fine. sliding off my chair just knowing he's behind me. Hot, hot daddy. daddy. Today we are ranking the hottest pop culture dads in a head-to-head -head bracket. I'm a raging homosexual. And I'm opinionated. We've pulled randomly from a bucket and round one is set. <laughs> round one, we are going to go to the Southwest Conference. Danny Tanner versus Mr. Incredible. Many of you may be thinking, Danny Tanner, wasn't Uncle Jesse the hot one in Full House? Grow up, you babies. Yes, they do need to grow up. Because as I get older, Danny Tanner looks hotter and hotter. He owned a home. Oh. He wasn't living in somebody's attic. Mm -mm. He was a newscaster. Can take control. He owned a big ass house right in San Francisco. He was right by that big old park. Do you know the real estate prices in San Francisco? This man is a provider. But on the other side, we've got Bob Parr, Mr. Incredible, a man who is built like a fridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a literal superhero. Oh. And there's nothing hotter than that. He could toss you around like you're a pizza pie. I gotta just like give him a, a deduct a point. Like, yeah. I feel like he's not so concerned with like safety in the household. Sure. You know what I mean? But what's hotter than a little danger? Danger, that's so true. I want to just put it into your mind that Mr. Incredible is hitting Elastigirl. Mm. No, I agree that Mrs. Incredible could be with any man she wanted. <laughs> so the fact that she chose him is like a big stamp of approval. I'll say it here first. I am not afraid to call a cartoon character hot. No, sir. I'm not one of those people. I know that they were done on a computer. They don't exist in real life. They are hot. This is really hard. Yeah. We're starting with a toughie. This is a toughie. And I think we are in agreement when it comes to these two fine ass gentlemen. Yeah. There's only one daddy that we're taking home. The quintessential TV dad, right? The number one daddy. Yeah, Danny Tanner. Already. Danny, you move on. Already we have gasps. Wait, really? Yeah. No, Danny Tanner, come on. No. Danny Tanner, all the way. You know what, he's clean. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we have Joe Goldberg from You versus Daddy Mohan from Never Have I Ever. Full disclosure, never watched this show. Full disclosure, me either. This man's a literal stalker. He's a stalker serial killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, that's not hot. Have you watched the show, Johnny? It's romantic. Oh, is it? He's killing because he's obsessed with you. I agree that this is a hot man. Yeah, Penn Badgley is. But we gotta go off like the character traits too. R right, and he will kill, you. yes Desiree? Um, just so you know, Yeah. Mohan is dead. So Mohan is in fact, we're hearing Mohan's dead. So if you wanna go off character traits, he's dead. But we see him in flashback? Yes. Well then I think we can <laughs> him. <laughs> I'm just saying, if he's there at some point, he's dead, but that doesn't mean he never had a romantic like sex life. Desiree, tell me about his 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 traits as a dead father. He is a really good dead father. Uh, okay. I think the answer is, I'm sorry, I think the answer is clear. I'm not gonna say that this man can come and kill me. Joe! Yeah. If he were your daddy, he would do anything for you. He'd keep people in little glass cages. True. He would burn down the house and chop off one of his body, finger? Toe. toe. He would chop off his toe for you. All right, how about this? You get, you get this, yeah. but just keep that in mind down the road. I'll give you the serial killer stalker, but you have to give me that fucking hot lion. <laughs> that lion. <laughs> You're already going forward? Johnny, you're out of your fing I'm mind. I'm sliding off my chair just knowing he's behind me. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, you invited me. You invited me to this little game. Now you're gonna make me feel crazy? You're telling you're me. You're gaslighting me. <laughs> you put him up there. You don't want me to say he's hot. Mufasa is hot and we just have to accept that. I think I don't really care and you do care. So go ahead and have this one. And you don't owe me later but I will come come hard for Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we, shall we, shall we get back to that one? Okay. All right, next up we have Uncle Phil against Miguel. Now again, we told Desiree, Papa from, from Coco. First of all, Miguel is the shot. And in... <laughs> <laughs> 
This is supposed to be Hector mm. from Coco, Bone Daddy. I think it's important to note that you would be like hooking up with a, 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 a literal skeleton. Yes. So like, what do we call that? Necrophilia? Yeah, I mean, Miguel is hot. He plays Miguel. <laughs> Well, let's just talk about mm. Hector, all right? Okay. He's a project, but not too hard of a project, you know? We like a little fixer-upper, someone mm. that you could put some effort into, but you know you're gonna get him there. And that's a good point, because over here we've got somebody who is set in his ways. Uncle Phil over here used to get in his way. A little bit of a pillow princess, mm. perhaps. Something hot about him is yes. that he's a, he's a hard ass. Like, he's gonna tell it to you how it's straight. He's also alive, like in a warm body. You know what I mean, as opposed to... I actually do think the actor who played him is dead. Okay, well, R.I.P. <laughs> That's not funny, and it's really not funny, but R.I.P. to you and to your family, I'm so, so sorry, but... People die, they But the old. character lives on, right? In our hearts. Right. This honestly is like warm body versus cold body. Yeah. My vote's Uncle Phil. Mustache ride, let's do it. He's alive. This is where we start fighting. Okay. Charlie Swan versus Swan. Mm. We have Mahershala Ali in his Oscar-winning performance in Moonlight. Not a daddy. Uncle. Mm. Not even. Took a kid in on, off the streets. This is like adopted daddy vibes. Right. He's a drug dealer, but with a heart of gold. He's working hard, yep. you know, he's yep. street smart, street savvy. Now, Charlie Swan, the undersung hottie of the Twilight franchise, getting some vigorous nods from Jack on Sounds. I think he is physically very hot. I like the stubble on his chin. Mm -hmm. He kind of feels like he's out of a daddy simulator. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. he, he's, you always see him slugging around a beer. Mm -hmm. He's just got off a yep. hard day. Yep. And you know what? Maybe I can help him relax a little bit. I know there's a strong Charlie contingency in the room. Yes. If you wanted yes. to shout Let's out. ask the audience. Why? Why? I mean, there's no question. He's hot. Yeah. He's just a hot guy. He is hot. Yeah. yeah. Is he the hottest character in Twilight? He's like, you know, he's also doesn't talk a lot. That we love to see that in a man. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I hear you. I hear. I hear what you're saying. That's. I need to bring this up. Uh, we just covered uh, Twilight Eclipse on Guilty Pleasures, and um, I said this there. I'll say it again. Charlie is a cop. I am going to say Twilight. See you later. <laughs> By light. Jaws drop. It's Moonlight versus Twilight. I pick Moonlight. For sure. He's only a cop against like wolves. <laughs> <laughs> He's chasing wolves the whole time. Yeah, I would say I would rather f my drug dealer than my my cop. cop. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the, I, I know we're wrong. Oh my god. We're not wrong. <laughs> we're not wrong. So Mufasa is gonna go ahead and 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 move forward. And you <laughs> are crazy, Johnny. Okay. I here's the thing. Pedro Pascal, I was will, I was ready to tank him in this because I think it's time we as a society let him go. And I don't mean let him go from our hearts, I mean give this man a break. Every red carpet interview, everything that he does, he is subjected to seeing the thirst tweets and calling himself a zaddy. But Jonathan Cakes, this is a hot man. Okay, I agree. But you wanna talk about the struggle? This bitch was pushed off a cliff to his death in front of his child? Absolutely hot behavior. It is so hot to get murdered like that. If we kill off Charlie Swan and Pedro Pascal back to back, we've lost every, we've lost all legitimacy. Just give me, okay, tell me, tell me why you wanna fuck the cartoon lion. No, I think I got, I think I got the wrong lion. I'll be honest, I think I wanna fuck Simba. I think Mufasa I wanna fuck, but I don't, I'm not dying. I'm dying to fuck Simba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mufasa is hot, but you're absolutely right. It's Simba as an adult who I'm most attracted to. So Mufasa, killed by his brother, killed in front of his son, yeah. and we're saying that it's hotter to be traumatized than be the cause of trauma. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Simba is a more sexy lion mm, than, Mufasa. than Mufasa. Let me let me hit you some facts about our man Pedro Pascal yeah. here. Let's, let me tell you about Joel and the Last okay. of Us, because it okay. sounds like you're not watching currently. Sounds like I'm not. Okay. No. He lost a daughter. Mm. We watch his daughter die in his arms. I I'll let you have this one. I'm not gonna defend the sexiness of the lion anymore. It's too much. <laughs> I've done enough. I think my career is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whew. This is a classic battle of good versus yes. evil. Yeah. We've got This Is Us 
yeah. going here. Yeah. Milo Ventimiglia. Yeah. Over here, we've got the baddie daddy, no. Lucius Malfoy. That hair? Uh, no. Uh, a blonde king, Ugh. silver daddy. No, silver. No, it looks like he's wearing a, like, a, a Hot Topic wig. No, absolutely not. He's a bad dad. Look, bad he's dad. he's evil. He raised a real fucking Sorry, I'm saying no. too much on Try Guys. Johnny, do you think that anyone who's offended by the word is still watching this video. <laughs> Another tragic death daddy. Tragic, tragic. My mom called me the other day and I was like, I'm, I got something in the crock pot. She's like, Johnny, be careful. Be careful, you could die from a crock pot. And I'm like, girl, how? And she was like, did you see this is us? And I was like, is that how we died? A crock pot that's incident? We, yeah, yeah. And it was an electrical error. A From a fire, crock pot. A fire. What, they left it on? They were making stew or something? Honestly, <laughs> not hot. The stew is the least sexy way to die. If I ever die because of stew, beef, no. No, ma'am. Make up something else. Milo Ventimiglia, though. Yeah. Just a beautiful I mean, this is the answer. specimen this is of the a answer. man. He's the hottest. That man is... I don't know who he is. I mean, I know who he is. I don't want to see him anymore. Jack Pearson is as goals as a husband and father could ever get. Uh, he was written by a turf, so it seems right. pretty easy. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we have the hottest cartoon dad of all time. You know, he's become sort of like a meme for being the hot dad. He's like, everyone wants him. This is where Nick is now no nodding knowingly. <laughs> this is... Uh, this is... <laughs> A gay icon? He's a gay icon. Maybe the straights don't know about this, but this man is all over gay Twitter. I've seen it. I, for whatever reason, my Twitter is also gay Twitter. He is hot as a person, or is it just purely an aesthetic thing here? Oh, completely aesthetic. I think he's he's not a great father. His, his, his child is going through some real inner turmoil. He's too busy being hot, and you got it. I appreciate that. Over here, we've got Hopper, the daddy of Hawkins. Yeah. One will turn you inside out, the other will turn you upside down. That's good. I mean, this is the mustache round. Uh-oh, you hear that? Mustache round. <laughs> we've got ourselves this. a mustache off. Yeah. Hopper is dad bod goals. I mean, if it's a mustache off, there's one mustache I want to sit on, and it's this one. And it's a cartoon, so I feel like I get my Mufasa's revenge. Yeah. Um, just a reminder, if you are going to uh, not include Charlie Swan because he was a cop, Harper, Harper was a cop. Oh my god, thank you so much! You know what, if this were a cop off, I'm going Charlie Swan, I just want to let that be known. Okay? But I will say right now, all cops are bastards, even ones that fight Demogorgons. So sorry, Mr. Okay. Hopper. Hell yeah. I feel really good about that one. <laughs> John Krasinski from A Quiet so Place. Hot. So hot. Versus. Waymond from everything, everywhere, all at once. John Krasinski. Pr oh, oh, he's a protector. Oh my God. You want to talk about protector? He would do literally anything for his children. He, everybody else died. He's the one father who could get his shit together and keep his family alive. Well, he hasn't shaved in a while because like he can't. God, that sucks. He's not gonna be able to shave. You know what else he hasn't shaved? What? Oh yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can you imagine if he had like a really big beard and perfectly shaved bush? <laughs> Can we say Bush? Now, I want to talk to you about yep. Waymond. Yep, tell me. This is the sweetest man that has ever lived, but he's also a f***ing badass, mm. okay? You may think that Waymond is, is too sweet for his own good, but this man has the multiverse inside his brain. Mm. He can be everything, mm. everywhere, yep. all at once. I also will say, for the record, my, uh, my wife Maggie, she doesn't vocally lust after people, but we were sitting one day and there was a TV banner for A Quiet Place. Yeah. And she goes, under her breath, John Krasinski's a man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for this Let's one. Let's, let's have the can we Can we put this to a vote? Hands for John Krasinski. Okay. Hands for Waymond. Great. Yeah. This, this, this one hurts me. Great. great. But he's had a great year. Yeah. I hope he's already won the Oscar by now. Waymond, you're welcome to my bedroom anytime. Okay. Johnny, this is where things heat up because now we have some pretty tough battles in round two. Yeah. Danny Tanner versus Joe Goldberg. I mean, this is quintessential, the purest of pure versus the baddest of bad. Yeah. Just feel like, what does it say about us if we keep letting a serial killer stalker advance? I don't want to be that guy. Danny Tanner is a good, solid daddy. I feel like he hasn't had his time to shine. People been known that Penn Badgley's hot. 
Yes. Is he hot as a dad? They're both hot in their own ways. This is the dad. I'm sorry. This is the this is the America's dad. If this was hot men, yes. Which man is hottest? Pandasha. Yes, of course, of course. But it's hot. Dads. Keyword dads. Hot dads. Hot dads. And this guy is not known for being a dad, yeah. right? Joe Goldberg did not kill his son. It's a great point. But he killed. He gave him to a gay couple. To be protected. Oh, oh good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it's settled. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay to advance Danny, but I'm seeing the way this bracket ends and I feel like we went wrong somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Where? But I think you're thinking of hot men. Uh-huh. We're gonna get some real, like, sexy, sexy dads. Yeah. Soon. Okay, so, I don't think so maybe this is like pure, you know what, this is the emotional Yeah, conference. it's gonna be brains versus bronze. Danny Tanner, you're going to the final four, baby. You're going to Hollywood, okay, okay. Um, Rachel's pissed. Again, this is where like I start to feel wrong knowing that Charlie's out. I feel like we f***ed up. I, I feel weird. Uh, but we have Philip Banks versus Juan. They're both kind of in the same, like emotionally, the same category. So I think let's just give it to like the sexier. Right, well, and I would say actually that if you look at emotionally. Yeah, okay. Way more emotionally present. Right. Then we don't need to fight about it. Okay. Hey, you know what? Great doing business with you. The Hot finally wins. Mahershala Ali, you're going to the final four. Okay, this is wild. This is good. Okay, okay. Can we talk about how these men kind of look the same? Like, you know the like white men all look the same? Yeah, we have a type. <laughs> yeah. This is the hardest thing that we will ever have to that do. Is, that, you gotta and give me that. That's this hard is, because- This is something, Rachel's not even oh, hearing it. Hot, hot behavior. No, 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 and crock pots. Like whenever I have a crock pot on, I'm like, I am not getting laid tonight. <laughs> I just need to know more about this guy because this is a new yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, just so you want yeah. I, yeah. I'm gonna. Okay, yep. we got. I'm gonna. All, yeah, let's do some TikToks here. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful man. Beautiful. Maybe the most beautiful man that's ever lived. Okay. TV star. Cable. TV star. Yes. Movie star. It's not cable, it's HBO. That's, that's a good star. Point. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Put your guy up. I, I, it's fine. It's fine. I gave you. You think this is easy for me, John? No, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I cannot believe. I cannot believe that I spent about thirty minutes trying to defend <laughs> the sexiness of a lion. So I'm gonna not even go down this road. Like I'm just gonna let you know what I mean. Like just have it. Fair, 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 fair. Congratulations, Pedro Pascal. You're going to the final four. Woo! This is tough. Trap him. I, I honestly, I think I know my answer. But I think I know mine too. It's tough. We've got Inside Out Daddy versus Shh. Yeah. Protector. We just know so much more about this daddy. Right. Like this daddy, he's hot. We gotta give it to Mr. Quiet. Interesting. Place. Now, Bill Anderson. Do you think this cartoon character knows how much the gays have rallied behind him? <laughs> and will he be in a, is there a sequel coming up? They could call it Right Side In. <laughs> it could, yeah, never mind. <laughs> If we don't choose Inside Out Daddy, are we homophobic? Uh, okay, I think I think quiet. Place. Yeah. Okay. Is that wow. crazy? No, I love okay, it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Rachel's like, finally. <laughs> okay. I thought it was gonna be this as our. I thought he was gonna take it. Okay, this is it, gang. We're almost here. Sometimes the 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 16 seed makes it all the way to the dance. <laughs> who here? Who here? Who here is better than Danny Tanner? Charlie Swan. Yeah, Charlie Swan. Okay, you wanna swap him out? Danny Tanner versus Mahershala Ali. And they, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say the actor's name because this is an iconic yeah, yeah. Oscar winning performance. But he's a dad. Like he's a, he literally has children. Right. This is daddy energy. Mm. I, I hate this criteria. <laughs> Danny Tanner is, is a hotter daddy than this man who is not a daddy. <laughs> Johnny. Congratulations, Danny Tanner's going to the finals. <laughs> but, but I just want just want to be clear. I don't. This ain't about 
Just physical attraction. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, look, I, I think it's very clear. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna go ahead. We're very passionate about this man, right? We, the, the world is passionate. Okay. I was gonna give him a sweet, merciful death okay. and say, Pedro, you're hot, and you, we, we've, we've run you into the ground. But at this point, it's hard for me. Like Pedro's turning, turning all the boys. Oh man, this is tough because this is one of the hottest men to ever walk planet Earth, if you ask me. Even when he. What was that? He does that. Oh, like on the office? Yeah. I mean, it's not that hot. It's... Yeah, well, when you did it, it was not that hot. <laughs> when he does it. No. What if we just ended the video right now? Yeah. What if it just what if it just cut to black soprano style and you just had to live with live with not knowing? Look, this video was made in 2023, and in the year of our Lord, there is one daddy, and not even we can deny it. That's a very good argument. All right, go ahead. You have it. You have him. You have him. All right, now. <laughs> now it gets interesting. Can you I? know, on Without a Recipe, yeah. when they cut back and forth between me and you, mm -hmm. and like, <laughs> I mean, no offense. <laughs> But it's like, here's how a cake's supposed to look. <laughs> here's how it how it looks when Zach makes it. We've had a crazy battle of hot daddies. We've debated, we've laughed, we've cried, we've lost friends along the way. On the West, we had a real gauntlet of uncles. <laughs> <laughs> And men who are who are hot on the inside. That revealed that Danny Tanner does have it going on. On the East, a murderer's row of batty daddies. It's so hot. It's we've, crazy. We've, we've, we've learned that facial hair really does it for us. But in the end, there can only be one in the battle of Danny Tanner versus everyone's current fave, Pedro Pascal. The winner of course, is. I want to say Danny Tanner. <laughs> oh, it's not Danny Tanner. Pedro Pascal, congratulations, scientifically. Look, we didn't know if it was going to be true, but you can't deny science. Look, this was obviously contentious. We would love you to sound off in the comments below. Please be kind to us. Sorry, yeah, sorry. I've got a pocket full of daddies. <laughs> That's what I was doing behind I've me. got a pocket, got a pocket full of daddies. I've got a pocket, got a pocket full of daddies, oh. We should ask gay Twitter what they think of this. I just would like to hear more besides the aesthetics. I yeah, mean, I don't have much more than that.